Hello everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with another video on the American Lafon Lycan. Have you ever wanted to change your oil but didn't know how or what you needed to do to make it happen? Well, this is the video for you. In this video, we will change the oil and clean the screen and that's pretty much what it takes to get the oil in this thing. But before we begin, let's roll that intro. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some 10W40. You're gonna need your funnel, preferably a long funnel because you have to go down the body of the bike across the airbox to get that oil in. Then you're gonna need a rag and a small engine velocity keychain so that you're cool, of course, but the rag is for you to be clean because we don't want to be messy. We'll need a either a, a socket wrench with a 19 inch uh, socket or an uh, adjustable wrench would work and then something to drain the oil with. Now when we look at the bike it's not a hundred percent necessary to put it on a jack stand but uh, it just makes it easier for recording the video at the moment and so that you can slide everything in there conveniently. So the first thing we're gonna do, so the first thing you need to do is locate the drain plug underneath the lichen. It should be in the center and it should be very obvious. This is where you're gonna use the 19 inch socket. Go ahead and put the socket onto the nut and then you will turn it clockwise to loosen. Go ahead and just break it loose All right, once loose, go ahead and put your receptacle that you will drain the oil with underneath and continue to loosen. Okay, be sure to, once you get to the point where it's about to come up, be sure to push it up, make sure all the threads are off and then pull the plug away. Ooh, gross. Look at all that oil. So at this point, you can just wait for a little while. Let it completely drain or drain as much as you feel like you need to do. But I personally like to let it drain for five minutes to make sure that I get as much of it out as I, of the oil, out, old oil out as I can. While we're waiting for the oil to drain, you'll notice that the plug, when you pull it out, it has a spring and it also has the filter or the screen. What you'll want to do is look inside this screen to check to see if there's any little bits and debris inside of there and uh, kind of give it a good cleaning. Make sure it's completely dry after you're done cleaning it before you put it back on. But this will help you filter out any impurities or whatever that might happen to be floating around in your oil when you put it in. And in this particular case, it doesn't look that bad. Once your oil is complete, go ahead and put your cap back in. It goes cap and then spring and then screen and then slowly hoist that back into the original hole thread it make sure when you're putting this back on that you don't cross thread and it should free sp spin freely by hand and hand tighten it all the way down before you use the the wrench once it's as tight as you can with your hand Go ahead and reuse your 19 millimeter socket. Don't forget to make sure that it's on tighten and apply pressure and tighten back up. Since this is spring loaded, you should just be able to make this hand tight. And we're done down here. So let's go ahead and move on to putting oil into the bike. Next thing to do is locate the chrome covered cap. It should be on the right side of the bike. Go ahead and remove the cap. Put the funnel in and you'll see why you need a long funnel. There you go. Once the funnel's in, go ahead and get your oil. Remove the cap. Now, from experience, this bike takes exactly one bottle of oil. Go ahead and fill, pour slowly. 
Once all the oil is in, be sure to remove the funnel, but check to make sure there's no more oil that'll drip onto your motor. Put the funnel back into the bottle for recycling of the old oil. Replace the cap. After putting the oil, you can check the fill level. Um, it's on the bottom right hand side of the bike, just below the exhaust manifold. And you can see there's little marks and you want the oil between those marks. In this particular case, it's not between the two marks. So we'll go ahead and put a little bit more oil. Okay, so we put a little bit more oil and now if you could see the oil level line is between the two marks. Once you're complete, don't forget to take that oil that you had, that dirty gross oil, and pour it with the funnel back into the original container so that you can send it off for recycling. Also note that when we did our oil change, we had it on a flat jack stand for bikes. So it was level the whole time we were filling it. If you are using a, the kickstand, uh, make sure that you pick up the bike off the kickstand to check that, check that level uh, on your, for your oil to make sure that it's, it's the correct amount. Otherwise you might end up overfilling it because it'll have most of the oil on one side of the, uh, one side of the reservoir. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see everybody next time.